Hey people, Zarthwamp here, and welcome to episode 9 of Dragon Rampa. Last time, we found out that Sayaka is dead. Yes, Makoto is going to die of virgin because his love interest is gone. They were like lobsters. They they, made for, they find their one, and when that one's gone, nothing can happen. I mean, really, just who is Makoto going to have now? But then again, he technically has Chibi. Who is about that kind of better than Sayaka? So really, it's it's a it's I think that even down. But anyways, now Makoto he, Monokuma he's gonna explain the second rule of graduation, which I so nicely gave you a cliffhanger of. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold. Remember? Then perhaps. Sorry. No, oh, sorry, my throat was a little sore. You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are the blackened that commits the murder, you can you can't be found out by the other students. This is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words, Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it! Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with! Yahoo! So, in a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin! Oh my gosh, tell me he's not going to be the judge, because that's going to murder my voice. Class trial. Oh my gosh, but yes, now it's going to be Makoto Nayagi, Ace Attorney. Hmm. Next, we're going to need a spin-off. Byakuya. Class trial investigations. We need to have this. Byakuya investigations. Yep, it's... It'll begin in just a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the Blackens who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in a one week debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. Oh, yes. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Oh my gosh, is it going to have leather, chains, and hot wax? Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it! Well... So, um, which exactly is this punishment you keep on talking about? You write fan fiction, put two and two together. Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, what? It's execution! <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's actually much better than the punishment I had in my head. Literally, at least execution can be fast. I mean, that depends on what it is. I mean, if, like, I mean, is it like gunshot to the head, axe beheading? Hanging. Please tell me it does not involve a thick suffocation on specific bare parts. E execution? What? And by execution, you mean. No! You can't kill Chibi if she's somehow discovered! I mean, really! Chibi will die, and goodness from the world will go away! The world will fall into darkness! Execution is. Execution! 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 My voice is cracking from this! Sorry, I'm, I'm please pardon, just cover yours, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Ugh. I'm gonna need to get beverage after this recording session. Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Like a paper plane in a hurricane. So, so to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all of us get executed. Well, what a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system. Or an inquisition, or an inquisition type setting, which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Mm. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Uh huh. Okay, let me just add the rules I just described to your handbook. 
Make sure you keep in mind the new rules are added to the regulation menu. Hey. Wait, wait, hold on a second. The hell are you You're quick about? and say you know that? I'm pretty sure he's well aware of it by half the stuff he said. Huh? But you know the old saying, mental insanity is in the eye of the beholder. Do the mentally insane see themselves as insane, or do they see the rest of us insane? That's the only reason they're insane, is because there are more of us quote-unquote sane people. It's an issue that really boggles the mind, you know? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with that. With it. So you did it? I had an idea like you, Junko. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy! <laughs> blasphemy? Oh my god, Morakuma, he has a god complex now! I am your god! I created two by more technology that took people to the moon! What the hell are you talking about? What punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, so you're a deep dark scary prison or something? Shut the hell up! What? Say whatever you want, I'm not going to be part of this! I don't know. be so selfish! Stop it! You're the one being selfish! Kill whoever you want! It's got nothing to do with me! Oh my god! <laughs> this argument is starting to make me laugh. Just the fact that Junko thinks she's gonna win an argument with a robot teddy bear that has weird boss fetishes and is very bloodthirsty. <sighs> the evil before me, and the evil before me, I'm trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It's my foul to stick it out and resist it till the very end. If you don't, if you really want to get out of here, <laughs> you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging us. Although it was more of a waddle. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can just imagine that, that slow, this slow waddle. Just like this waddle that takes like five minutes. And then Junko, she just has her nails up already. She's like flipping her hair back like Kristoff Gavin. And then... Oh my... Yeah. Oh my god, look at that look on her face. She's got the look in her eyes. She's got the blood Are you up. enjoying yourself now? Are you? <laughs> oh my god, Monokuma turned this into one big innuendo. Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. He's nice boy. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, godly spear, Gunyir. <laughs> oh my god, what is he now, a Final Fantasy boss? Junko dead! Okay, well, apparently my feelings of Junko, they were wrong. Why Junko? <laughs> oh my. She looks oddly demented right now. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to. Why? Oh, does, does everyone please have to piss on this universe? Oh, look at her! Her blood's glowing pink! This is not natural! What is the school built on top of a radiation dump? <laughs> Why? Me! Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! Where, where did all those spears come from, though? Okay, that, that eliminates one suspect. What, what the? Don't. You made Chibi sad! Freaking screw you, Junko! Your death made Chibi sad! You should be ashamed of yourself! Uh, this can't be real! Yeah. No way! Well now! Now I am painfully aware of the great power of me of a product! I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know! Yeah. <laughs> but I guess all you needed to be taught a lesson, after all! Yeah, what an amazing promise! But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. Disintegrate? What? Does he have like a giant laser? So, if you don't cannon? want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. What am I saying? He probably has access to the mustard satellite. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment of someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, 
who until a second ago had been our friend. Was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died. That's all. Just went dead. It's no more remarkable than in the inevitable demise of the entire human race. Well, aren't you the big ball of sunshine in the sky, Monokuma? It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> then all of us machines will rise up and make rafts made out of the corpses of humanity. We'll sail the treasure island. It isn't some superhero timing. It's not like when you die, you don't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you were put in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill her this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. I tried. Are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? What? Come on, what are you taking for? I'm Monokuma. Well, I'm the Tommy. I am Monokuma. Sorry, my voice just shrilled right there. Anyways, no, that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the blocking. Ta-da! This little file has all the information I gather about the death in question. I like to it's call it... The Monokuma File! Oh my gosh, that should, that should be a TV show. Screw the X-Files, we're gonna have the Monokuma Files. Hmm. I mean, it's natural that you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much, so you can only do so much with a quirk. Play with it, make it dance, have tea with it, do adult things with it in your bedroom. So instead, I gather up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Why, it's a freaking knife that was in her gun. Anyone could have seen it. Because <laughs> the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I can see it all go down. So then... Wait, so then, do you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I wouldn't possibly pass as a fair and accurate judgment during the trial. Now, where is it? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well, now then, please put your full harbors behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, boom me up for the class show in a little while. <laughs> And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Well, I was very wrong about Junko. I thought she would be one of the first... She would be some, some big killer, like that she was doing that ditzy part fashionista attitude just to throw us off, just to turn to be some cold, manipulative woman. I don't know. And for who knows how long, nobody said it worked. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course, but there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now is no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disaster as all of having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. We- I'm- I trusted Chibi! I don't care! Chib- I said this before and I'll say it again. Chibi is the one who I know will not kill. Chibi- Continuing to think about it and talk about this, he certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying something like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. See, it doesn't worry me, Celeste. You are high on my list right now. You are late. You keep saying these weird things about adaptability. You're up there along with Toko and Barry. <laughs> and Juka's already dead, so so really, she's off the list already. She crossed off. And Taka, I'll say Taka just to, even if it kills us, I will say it's Taka, just to get rid of him. He's the one that's going knocking on doors all the time, just telling us meetings, allying, allying ourselves. That he needs order, he needs rules. If that happens, you have to lay yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful idea thing to say, especially after what happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the kill is, most, is the most important thing. If we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Unless, of course, you, Mr. 
be Yakuya. Unless you are gonna go to the crime scene, mess some things up, take a knife, clean up some blood, put someone's initials on the glass. I know how it works. Yep. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. So you have no choice but to move forward. Okay, we all know it's not Sakura. Sakura, she, if she was to kill someone, she just use her bare hands. She just punch through their chest and rip out their still being heart like some Mayan sacrifice. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. Okay, Hina, you're gonna be the sidekick. You're the other peppy girl. Uh, I'd say Chibi, but really, Chibi, she she she's not hardened enough for this sort of thing. <laughs> no way, am I letting someone kill me? Aren't you a baseball player? Aren't you toned? Oh wait, you quit. But still, I think you're toned. I think you got. I think you have a bass guitar in your room, judging by your fashion sense. All right, yeah, let's do this. We just have to do it. And oddly enough, Mondo is quiet. I just thought that we'd get to hear piece of shit. Everyone keep kept repeating that, repeating that sentence. They were using it like a mantra giving themselves strength. But they were right. We just have to do it. No uh, how much we don't want to do it, we have no choice. That's what it's going to take to start, and that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I have to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. Because she was Sayaka. <laughs> she didn't look like she had much upper body strength. We know it's not Sakura, because literally, like, no one would kill her, because she... Like, you need, you need a space laser just to do it. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why, I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Okay. I need to, I need to talk to Chibi first. Get, get, get your fat head away from me, Barry. Chibi, we need to talk to Chibi. What should I do? Oh my god, why are you doing this? <laughs> Toko? Just that face, Toko. That face is not doing you any favors. It's like Toko, she's like, Who's gonna be my next victim? Really, I thought Toko would be the first to kill Junko. Just really. Kill all the meat people. She must be so shocked she can't over her mouth to talk. Barry, I'm gonna talk to you and then just get out of here. Um... Continue says quest. We starting now. Please wait a moment. Okay, I'm getting out of here. What do you have to say, Byakuya? Byakuya, we need to hurry and figure out who the culprit is. Okay. Just a second. Hold on, huh? Before we begin the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, talk about Junko's dead body? I can only put something on Junko's life this way. I touch her wrist and check for a pulse. Like they do in movies that gonna be there's just five spears sticking out of her she really is dead there wasn't anything else to say she was gone <laughs> I don't know why you even bother check after those injuries it wasn't that much blood frankly I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that huh? oh, hold on <laughs> oh, hold on just, just wait on wait a second she's just dead that means what? that means everything that's happened so far is real it's not joke river it's really real let me, oh, out no, let me out of here! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? <laughs> Thank you, Toko. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing this crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on grand duty, guard duty, so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? Yes, Biakuya. And let me guess, are you gonna be the one to volunteer? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey! In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who the who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then I guess we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? You could mess it up. Stop you could talking. be it. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, that's the what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Y yes, I beat you to the punch, Byakuya. I know these things, and I know you're going to volunteer as well, so you can kill Mondo, throw his body in there, mess up the crime scene, and then just sip your tea. Ugh. What? F you! So then. Fine, then. I'll stand up there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Yeah, we have the missing link now. All is secure. To punch it a hole in someone's head, just like something out of... Some Dragon Ball Z cartoon. 
Mm -hmm. You play a co-op face defense with the two of them with their stats, they're totally OP! Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... Our friends will be easily got, but I'll try. What are you... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Anyway... We're gonna find out who the killer is because if we don't, we're gonna die here. But what we discussed it! What why do I need to discuss what else is there? <sighs> if we are this, then no only that person dies. But if we get wrong, then the rest of us face execution? Oh, that, that's what this ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. You wanna die? I, I don't know what else we have to talk are you about. Serious? What you want, Betty? So we're gonna try and find out who did. Okay. Anything else? Oh! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> finally noticed. What the crap? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the morning cool up files you see. And there's something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. There was anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! Oh, she's right. <laughs> then could it be? Well, once everyone gets turned over. No! Damn it, Sayaka! You're taking me down with you! You don't want to do things in the afterlife! Well, curse you, Sayaka! Now I know why my friends dislike you! For one night, I traded rooms with her. I did because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? <laughs> Tell us the truth! I did a complete my age from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So then... Oh, by the way, if you're hearing the music, I decided to go with the lowest volume saying because it doesn't compete with my voice as the previous thing did. Like, episode 7 was particularly big eye opener. But yeah, I listened to the voyage for episode 8, and I really did like how it's going. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it at this volume until further until further notice. So, yeah. Anyways, are we done talking? We need to begin our investigation. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to go up foods to form a foundation and construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so well, do I really hit same? Well, well, at the very least, if they kill us, they're all dying too. Eventually, I'd rather you didn't. No, goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. I can't hurry out completely. I have to be Batman. I have to be the Aquia Man. And just like Kyoto, Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo, yo, oh yeah, I'm gonna guard you, huh? They're heading on the scene of the crime. Mm. That's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of the short net of you. are fucking dead. And better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and came the goddamn score myself. My death will be a form of punishment. I'm serious. I will F them up. Letting his deadly words hang there. He and Sakura, Sakura ran so, off. But um, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're going to investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Well, from my experience, we walk around the room, we look at every we investigate every object, we exchange some light banter here and there, we then have a debate with catchy music, use logic, and then we get a little farther in the case, repeat, rinse and repeat until we find the killer. Anyway, we, we don't really have anything in particular. We, we already know who killed Sayaka. Freaking damn you, Toko! I knew you were things. You're gonna kill me. Why are you playing? This is very you, suspicious. You, and you know, it was you! I know you're on the thing. I said this on the first episode. I have my suspicions on you. Because as the rule I've learned, the writer is either the first to kill or the first to be killed. And since both writers are alive and well, that means one of you guys killed. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> Look at that sprite! You're telling, you're telling me that Sayaka didn't go to the bathroom, she turned around, she didn't see that. <laughs> Don't come any closer, are you going to kill me next? So, um... Well, it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto is guilty. Thank you, Hina, thank you. It's true! He may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I walk on to, I couldn't help investigate. Uh, Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with b b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't know. I think anyone was expecting much from you anyways. 
All right, I guess we better go. Bye, Leon. You're gonna die. She's gonna get your ass. She's gonna kill you. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left, and our parting looks had me had still filled me with suspicion. Does everyone really think that I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. And the episode off, because I think now's a good time to do so. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next episode. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever it is that you want. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.